in this lesson, we'll continue to look at simplifying exponential expressions where you have addition and subtraction. So you need to factorize first and we'll look at trinomials and I'll be showing you how to use the K method to help us simplify this. Now, first of all, remember, as soon as you see pluses and minuses separating the terms, so multiple terms, more than one term separated by a plus or a minus, like you see over here, you cannot go and simply cancel. You cannot go and simply divide. No, no, no. We have to factorize first. We have to get one term at the top and one term or whatever at the bottom. And then we can see if we can cancel. So I've shown you in previous videos in this playlist how to use highest common factor. So we did it with this one. How to use difference of two squares. We did it with this one and more examples. Go check out those videos linked in the playlist down below if you haven't seen it yet. Now we're going to look at a trinomial. You might be looking at this and saying, whoa, ma'am, I don't see a trinomial. If I had to ask you to reverse your exponent rules and check again, would you see a trinomial or would you be able to see it more clearly? Pause the screen and try it. But what do I mean by reversing exponent rules? So say for example, remember I taught you in a previous video, if you have five to the power of X plus one, you can rewrite that as five to the power of X multiplied by five to the power of one. Why? Because if you had to reverse it here, the bases are the same. So you keep the base, you write it once and you add the exponents because I'm multiplying. So that's what I mean by reverse the exponent rules. So see if you can try it. What I mean is you should get something like this. Another helpful thing is to rewrite this term over here as five to the power of X to the power of two. You would do power inside outside and it would get you back to that one. It may be more helpful to see it in this format to see or visualize a trinomial. This over here, as I've shown you, might be helpful to rewrite as five to the power of X multiplied by five to the power of one. So rewriting this as this. 5 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write it the other way around. So 5 to the power of 1 multiplied by 5 to the power of x. Don't get confused. Don't lose me. This is the same thing as this. Why? Because the bases are the same. So we would keep the base and add the exponents. 1 plus x or x plus 1. Same thing. 1 plus x, x plus 1, same thing. Okay, so I haven't changed the expression. All I've done is I've rewritten it. So instead of this, I'm writing it like that and then the minus six, and then I'm dividing that by five to the power of X plus six. So how does it match up? How does this look like a trinomial? Well, you know, a normal trinomial would have a squared term. So for example, X squared plus five X minus six. For example, let's say, remember, I'm only looking at the numerator here. Take a look at what I have over here. I do have a squared term, okay? I do have a term in the middle with a coefficient of five. And I do have a constant term of minus six, but instead of the variable X, instead of the variable X, I don't have X. I have five to the power of X, but that is basically like my X. If you can't see that that looks like a trinomial, I don't want you to worry because I'm going to teach you a method called the K method. Now, this is a method that mathematicians invented. It is where we replace something in the expression with the letter K. I don't know why it's a K but it's a K. So we replace something in the expression with a letter K to make it easier to simplify. So a nice rule that you can learn if you see something like this is first step, break up or reverse the exponent rules. That would be step one, break up or reverse the exponent rules. So for example, instead of saying five to the power of X plus one, you're going to say five to the power of X and five to the power of one. And instead of saying five to the power of two X, you're going to rewrite that as five to the power of X multiplied by two. Okay. So reverse the exponent rules, break it up. Then step two is you are going to use the K method. You are going to let, let five to the power of X equal K. Now, how did I know to choose five to the power of X? Easy way you can think about it is it'll always be the middle term, five to the power of X. It'll always be the middle term. Or you can think of it as the term with the exponent that is half the exponent of the other term. Now, what do I mean by that? You can see this is an X and this one over here is a two X. Okay, so... I'm going to let five to the power of X equal K. Now watch what happens when I do this. Instead of five to the power of X squared, remember we're going to replace that with K, we're going to write K squared. Plus, instead of writing five multiplied by five to the power of X, we're going to write five multiplied by K because again, we're replacing that with K and then minus six, so that's the numerator. Then the denominator, we're replacing five to the power of X with K. So it's going to be K plus six. Now take a look at that algebraic fraction. This fraction over here should be way, way easier to simplify than this one over here. You should be used to doing this in grade nine already, grade 10. Okay, 
grade nine, grade 10. So how do I do that? How do I simplify that fraction? Well, first things first, I need to still do a trinomial over here, but it's way easier to do a trinomial when it looks like this versus when it looks like this. So how do I do the trinomial? You should know how to do trinomials by now. If you don't, I have lots of videos on it. K and K, we need to make a minus six. So it's either going to be one times six or it's going to be two times three. I need to make a negative six. So I think it's going to be a negative or a positive six, let's say rather. Positive six and a negative one. Yes, positive six minus one. That gives me a positive five to the middle term. And positive six times negative one. That gives me negative six, the last term. If you need help with how to do trinomials, I have lots of videos. So I know I did that quick, but positive six is going to be in my one bracket. Negative one is going to be in my next bracket. That's the top. The bottom of the fraction is K plus six. And now I may simplify. So now that I have one term at the top, over here, one term, okay, this is one term. It's two brackets, but that's one term. And I have K plus six at the bottom. This bracket may cancel with that bracket, leaving me with K minus one, but that's not your answer because K wasn't in the original expression. But remember, we let K equal five to the power of X. So all you do at the end is simply replace K with five to the power of X, and then this says minus one, so we need to say minus one. And that's it. That's how we simplify the expression using the K method. If you'd like to see me do another example, click on the very next video. I will do example number two with you. Bye everyone.